Okay, so we stopped recording after um, trying to find a loss and then we came back on again just to have another play searching for this loss to get that reality check in in terms of playing over the board games and I don't want to be winning all the time, it's not realistic so we played this game here and we played as black so just push through the center and as I said I'm not losing on purpose I'm looking to try and find games that are going to give me some meat on the bones that I can take away some lessons learned from them so we castled so all pretty straightforward at the minute uh, feeling quite nice with my development here so we're pushing up as we do normally just to open up space for the bishop so that's all pretty straightforward stuff and then we bring the um, bishop through and it's got a little bit of a question mark blunder mark looking thing is it or is it excellent i'm not too sure what that means i know on chess.com it means that it's probably an excellent move with the little bit explanation thing but then it does have a question mark there so maybe an inaccuracy of some sort okay so they push their bishop back and we just take the bishop off the board we're in the mindset of keeping it simple just taking stuff off the board no problems with that whatsoever so they capture so now we're looking to push through the center as you can see the gauge bar is showing it's 0.5 for white at the moment but that's neither here nor there no worries and they get a little bit of an exclamation mark and it gives us a bit of an advantage but it's only 0.3 so nothing to write home about there so they move and then we capture the knight and the computer doesn't like that but again it's nothing major at this moment in time so we're developing the bishop looking to potentially come through and put some sort of x-ray onto either the pawn or the rook so that felt fairly straightforward to me but also we're doubly protecting the pawn at the minute with the knight and the bishop again it's pretty straightforward they attack our rook we move the rook out of the way and then they move their queen down questions as to why but then obviously if i was playing white i would be saying oh well it's just to help me link up my rooks so that's fine so we move our queen up uh, to help us link our rooks up and maybe potentially putting pressure towards this pawn here potentially or looking to get this rook here to go here to push this pawn up uh, little small thought processes so this pawn push down here obviously was a little bit quizzical for me didn't really know what that was so we push the pawn here just to stop it um, touching onto our knight because I didn't really want to be bringing the knight back around again searching for a good home for it but that probably might have been a better manoeuvre okay so they brought the bishop back so now we're going for um, what we believe is some type of potential attack type thing towards here but it's already protected loads and realistically is that really going to work for us you know uh, and we're looking to move the queen up here so it was really like a false attack I am struggling to really find a maneuver because he's brought his bishop back now protecting the pawn so the x-ray through is no longer there so what do we want to do we really probably maybe should have considered doing this maneuver not too sure so they bring their rook across uh, following suit basically so they're like mirroring our actions at the moment and then we push the pawn here just to basically maybe stop the knight from coming here but realistically we had a small sort of thought process of the bishop coming here and attacking the queen if we bring the queen across here but that didn't really feel too good the opponent pushed through the center so at this point I'm thinking yeah this is not too bad so we grabbed and grabbed and because some sort of tempo thing we must be winning we've got a check on the king and then we take with the bishop so we're feeling quite good about all these maneuvers here and i think just believe it was the move order that was wrong we don't need to take um computers advice it's only um, minus 0 0.6 so it's nothing major but with me getting carried away thinking right i've got one two three four pieces attacking this pawn he's only got one two three defending the pawn so i'm getting carried away with myself by actually grabbing the pawn why is that a bad move because now as we grab 
then he grabs and then we grab and at this point it's looking good for us but something went wrong this is ideal for us this is a lovely winning position for us but we lose the advantage and dancing with my king I believe cost me the game in a sense should have been pushing the pawns rather than pushing my king up because I lost tempo this was really crucial in this game uh, so it was my fault entirely it wasn't anything the opponent had done um, to increase their um, position there was the worry when we go back again just a few more yeah as the computer states in here yeah that's a blunder because then if the knight takes yeah the knight takes then again we take he's plus showing plus 4.8 at the minute if the bishop takes and then if we took back and then if they take then we take we're in that lovely position there but there's the concern that the rook just comes here with a check on our king and what do we do we can't move the king out of the way because the rook is just going to take and then we lose the queen so we'd have to go here and then he gets our queen for free so that was the issue around that particular area this is why it kept jumping up and down that's why I thought I'd better come back to this bit so the exchange was fine up until that point and it's a key thing for me to note just because I have more pieces facing that I have to look at the back end of all of that positionally and it was lucky the opponent didn't actually see it you know and so we went with the bishop grabbed so he's got two minor pieces ahead of us now it's equal but it's not good because if they had taken then we would have been in trouble well if they'd continued the way that they should have because we grabbed look at that major all he has to do is come down here or she come down here key thing to note just because you have more material attacking a piece still look at the continuation after it all I mean that's a nice maneuver I would have been shot out of mine if he'd have done that <laughs> I'd have been like oh are you joking me um, but yep yeah, so we kind of clawed it back because we've got poor majority on this side but as we said then mobilize, mobilizing the king definitely is something I'm going to really put into my because I like to think oh yeah get an active king but realistically it can't do too much because I'm going to get squished so you know moving these pawns up a little bit at a time really would have helped a little bit better instead of move the king I'm panicking about him coming back down again but also panicking about this coming here and I'm getting squished coming across so I'm losing tempo all the time oh it's showing that I'm winning for a moment there I brought the king back feeling half decent about that but how am I going to get in so I'm just bouncing backwards and forwards now so again the king move that wasn't the thing to be doing so it's basically saying bring the rook all the way back see how so hell bent on just keeping the rook here I mean he can just go there can't he what would be the problem doing that okay so prote oh protecting the paw I'm going to push 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 what if his king goes here though oh it looks like we're winning uh, do, 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 do. hmm so we can't stop that so we'd have to come here 
and then maybe this king comes back down probably not because he's not going to want to get rid of this pawn is he yeah so he's going to have to do that we're going to have to do that he takes okay right um yeah something that was better than that so I think I can put that in my mental roller decks I think yeah because what I played was kind of awful really I was just struggling to find what to do so I thought he was going to bounce up or down and maybe go for a draw or something but he didn't and this is showing absolutely out and out winning here obviously I didn't make the right move ouch and realised it at the time oh scandalous check it's got a check on the king so simple when you look at the evaluation isn't it I'm thinking I take he's going to just take my rook off the ball but I've got an actual check on the king absolutely gutting well, so lots of things to learn from this particular game I'm really quite interested in it and yeah I'm taking this one and then obviously at that point I resigned because I realised I'd done the wrong move and didn't need to do that so yeah so that was a, a good loss for me and like I say I'm not losing on purpose I'm really genuinely wanting to play games that kind of replicate how it would go in the over the board scene because I'm the 50-50 man you know I'll win some I'll draw some I'll lose some and that's the way it goes in the reality of the games always got to be mindful that when you look at the higher level players who are attempting to try and go for grandmaster level type things yep some of them are quite scared to actually go for it they're putting it off you know they're putting it off because they're happy online just beating up on you know um, lower level players you know playing these fast games and stuff like that because they know the work that needs to go into actually playing real chess over the board against people of the same level as them same level or even probably slightly better they know how difficult it is so this is what I'm saying with my training here I really want realistic games not engine user games where they're completely mashing me up with some fantastic magical moves realistic moves like these like this player here um, earlier on they could have taken the victory we had a very bad position we've learned from that hopefully fingers crossed and this position here of not panicking and you over over utilizing the king taking advantage especially in this particular position here where the pawn had a check on the king smallest of details and so yeah over the board is difficult it's hard but it's so to me it's so much fun it's real the people are there it's real it does have its little quirks just like online but it it's real enough for me and that's what we're training for and that's we we're hope, hoping to get <clears throat> some more quality losses in that i can learn from i don't want to be just winning all the time that's not realistic at all okay good game